Okay. I got a cup of water in the microwave getting heated up almost to a boil. And this is a beverage I've been drinking ever since I've seen it on the internet. I don't drink it. I backed off. I was drinking it almost every single day. Um, in fact, I would suggest if you're going to start doing this, do it at nighttime before you go to bed. Because then when you wake up, especially as, lo as long as if you're out doing it on the road as a truck driver like I am, do it where you know when you wake up in the morning you're very close to the washroom. It's not a panic to get there, but you will want to go. Even if you don't feel like you have to go, go sit down and you're going to see something amazing. I mean, it ha this is the way, it, this is my experience, okay? The disclaimer is simply this. What I'm about to tell you has been my experience, my experience alone. I can't speak for anybody else, but this is awesome. Heat up a cup of water. And uh, if you can find it, because it actually improves the taste like you wouldn't believe. But I found these uh, bottles of water at Costco. And uh, this particular one is raspberry flavored. It's just water with, with, with a hint of raspberry flavor. Nestle Splash, it's called. I've seen them at Walmart, but they come in packs of six. Lemon or whatever flavor for $1.50 in the US and $2 and something in Canada. Costco has a big case, I think, of 36 for $9.99. Um, using this water as opposed to just plain water, and I've, I've uh, actually mixed the two together because I don't need that much sugar, gives this beverage a flavor that is, uh, in my opinion, Aloy Mutt Mutt, which is another way of saying very delicious. So while that's uh, heating up in the microwave, I'm going to pause the video because you don't need to see that. Except what I'll say is uh, simply this. Okay, two tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar, mother in, which I believe is unfiltered, unpasteurized, uh, pulp in. Two tablespoons of that two tablespoons of uh, unpasteurized organic honey okay and that's it and the water mix it together drink on it especially at night time when you have access when you wake up if you're doing it in the truck you can do it at home but if you're doing it in the semi like I'm doing it you want to be able to get to the washroom my experience has been even if I don't even feel like I have to go number two I go inside I sit down out everything comes uh, you know within a minute or two oddly enough and it's not the runs um, it's just an easy bowel movement easy evacuation like I've never experienced in my entire life and that is the God's honest truth as a long-haul trucker we all know that our diet on the road can be horrendous I've if I've heard it once I've heard it a thousand times Somebody's sitting in the stall next to me, and it sounds like they're giving birth. I've been there. I've done that. It's not funny. This has been a godsend to me. Again, I go into the washroom. I sit down, and with two minutes, I'm cleaning up and on my way out, feeling 100% better. I need to warm this up. Uh, maybe not. Um, just put a bit of this in here. That's enough. And, uh, yeah, like I said, works for me phenomenally. I watched YouTube videos on this, people talking about this, and I thought, well, won't hurt to give it a try. And I'm glad I have. I've been doing it for a couple months now. It's to the point now where I was doing it nearly every single day in the beginning. Because, again, having a, a bowel movement was... A major problem for me my whole life even long before I was a truck driver uh, in fact it was so bad I actually had an operation when I was in school um, so yeah this has been a godsend it is uh, delicious especially if you use that flavored water don't use carbonated water I did that by mistake once it just 
wasn't very good. And uh, yep, see, I just drink on that all day now because I know that I'm not going to need to rush to the washroom. I've already gone today. That's another thing. Speaking of gone today, if you're one of these people that goes once a week, like I used to be, and I'm not kidding, I am not kidding, once a week, and it was a struggle to do that. If you're one of those people, you're going to be shocked to find out you will go once, twice, sometimes three times in one day once you get on that, once you get on this beverage. I'm not kidding. And you will feel so much better. But that's the video for today. Stay tuned Watch for you. more. Cup Coon Cup. This is another part in the series of my road to Thailand. Take care. God bless. I'm out.